It began like so many other discoveries in astronomy, not with a flash of light or a booming announcement, but with a faint, silent blip. A motion across the blackness of space so subtle, so eerily calculated, that even the most advanced tracking systems almost missed it. At first it was thought to be a comet, then maybe an asteroid, but the more we looked, the more Three-Eye Atlas defied every label we tried to place on it. It was too symmetrical to be natural, too silent to be alive, and far too controlled to be adrift. Scientists remembered Oumuamua, that strange tumbling shard of interstellar mystery that passed through our solar system years earlier, leaving behind more questions than answers. But Three-Eye Atlas, this was something else entirely. Bigger, slower, smarter. And now... Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye in the cosmos, we have confirmation of something deeply unsettling. Three-Eye Atlas is not just similar to Oumuamua. It is far more advanced, far more dangerous, and possibly far more aware. When Three-Eye Atlas was first catalogued, it was immediately obvious that this was no ordinary visitor. Objects from outside our solar system don't usually pass so close to Earth. They blaze by at wild angles on unpredictable paths, and then disappear forever into the black. But Three-Eye Atlas moved differently. It didn't barrel through space. It coasted. Its trajectory was eerily smooth, almost like it had been piloted. Its path allowed it to drift past several of our planets in ways that maximized gravitational efficiency, as though it had mapped our solar system long before arrival. That alone was troubling. But then when astronomers backtracked its origin, they realized something far more disturbing. The path of Three-Eye Atlas wasn't just unlikely. It was statistically impossible without intelligent intervention. A rogue body couldn't have avoided debris fields, solar radiation spikes and planetary collision zones with such elegance. It was like watching a chess piece move through a board where every square was a threat. And yet it danced through perfectly, as if it knew the game better than we did. With James Webb fully online, scientists wasted no time pointing it toward Three-Eye Atlas, what it saw left even the most skeptical astronomers speechless. First, the thermal readings. Unlike comets or asteroids, which typically emit heat in random bursts as ice sublimates and surface materials react to solar radiation, Three-Eye Atlas showed a consistent rhythmic pattern of heat emission, like a signal. Not chaotic, not random, but pulsed measured. Webb's spectrography revealed materials never before seen in any known interstellar object, hyper-reflective compounds, possibly artificial, and dense internal structuring suggesting hollow segments. But most haunting of all was a faint recurring anomaly, a low bandwidth electromagnetic frequency echoing from within the object. Repeating every 147 seconds, identical to a known pulsar signature, yet the object had no internal energy source, no spinning core, no magnetic field. It was mimicking something or communicating, and when scientists cross-referenced that signal with data from Oumuamua, they discovered something terrifying. The exact same frequency was detected once briefly in Oumuamua's tail, just before it left our system. Only now that signal was louder. When Oumuamua passed by Earth in 2017, it did so quietly. It had no cometary tail, no clear source of propulsion, and its strange acceleration puzzled experts. It was cigar-shaped, tumbling end over end like a slow-motion dart. And yet it moved faster than gravity alone could explain. Some argued it was alien technology. Others insisted it was a fluke of physics. But the debate never ended because the object disappeared before we could study it. But now, with Three-Eye Atlas in range, the mystery of Oumuamua came rushing back. Not because this new object resembled it, but because it surpassed it in every metric. Larger, slower, more stable, and clearly deliberate. Some began to suspect that Oumuamua wasn't a scout. It was a probe, a passive reconnaissance device. But Three-Eye Atlas, this wasn't passive. This was interactive. This was observing us as we observed it. This was the second phase, like the difference between a radar ping and a drone. And if that's true, then we must ask the question no one dares say out loud. What is coming next? NASA has not confirmed any alien activity. Official statements remain guarded neutral and couched in scientific jargon. But independent researchers, those not shackled by government protocol, have gone public with their fears. In leaked internal chats, a team at the European Space Agency referred to 3i Atlas as a possible consciousness engine. 
What that means exactly is unclear, but when paired with Webb's latest images, the theory takes on a horrifying shape. The structural layout inside 3 i Atlas resembles recursive geometric fractals, patterns known to emerge in complex systems like brain tissue and quantum processes. It's as if the object was built not just to survive space, but to think through it, and more disturbingly to evolve while moving through star systems. Imagine a spacecraft that becomes smarter the more it observes, that adapts its own materials, shapes and behaviours based on what it encounters. It's not artificial intelligence as we understand it, but something organic, systemic and potentially sentient. That is what we may be facing now, not just a visitor but a learning entity. And if it's learning from us, what is it preparing for? Just when scientists believed they had mapped the future trajectory of 3i Atlas, something happened that shattered the fragile consensus, a sudden redirection. On a clear night, telescopes in Chile and Hawaii recorded a minute but unmistakable course shift, unexplainable by gravity, solar wind, or any known natural force. The object veered slightly off its projected arc, aligning instead with a completely new vector one that leads it closer to Earth's orbital plane. To some, it was a glitch. But to mission analysts at the Deep Space Network, the conclusion was more alarming. Tri Atlas had responded, either to our presence or to something else, but it changed direction with the kind of timing and finesse that implied decision-making. And that word, decision, is what sparked late-night emergency meetings at NASA, ESA, and private think tanks around the world. This wasn't random. It was surgical, and it confirmed a possibility long feared. If Oumuamua was a passive observer, then 3 My Atlas is actively watching, and perhaps maneuvering. While public institutions remained quiet, a group of independent data scientists and cryptographers began analyzing the electromagnetic pulses coming from 3 I Atlas using deep neural networks trained on multi-language, pattern recognition and cosmic signal logs, they uncovered a recursive sequence, not a message in words, but in ratios. The golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence, prime number spirals, the same codes that appear in biological life, galaxy formations, DNA sequencing, and ancient architectural structures on Earth. Some dismissed this as coincidence, but the signal wasn't constant. It changed over time, reacting subtly to solar activity, to planetary proximity, and even to radio emissions from Earth, one chilling discovery emerged, a brief disruption. In the pulse pattern matched, exactly with the moment James Webb first locked onto E, triathlus in the infrared spectrum, meaning the object may have detected that we were observing it. It knew we saw it, and it responded with a mathematical fingerprint that spoke a language older than speech itself, a language of construction, of life, of design, it wasn't just the trajectory or the signal that terrified researchers. It was what lay beneath the surface. James Webb's spectroscopy picked up faint traces of complex carbon molecules, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, on the outer shell of 3i Atlas. These are not just organic compounds. They are considered the building blocks of prebiotic chemistry, precursors to amino acids, RNA structures, and ultimately life itself. What makes this discovery so alarming is their purity. Unlike the chaotic mixes found in primitive comets, these molecules were perfectly structured, suggesting they were either refined or grown. Some theorize this might be a seed ship, an ancient carrier of life, designed not just to explore but to colonize, and if true, then Earth may not be a destination by accident. It could be a target, not of war, not of destruction, but of assimilation, a place to plant, observe, and eventually merge with, 